Well, just about everyone has an iPod now, and they're great because you can put your entire music collection on these. Absolutely. I mean, even I have an iPod. I don't have quite like the amount of songs that you do, but actually I've got videos on there and even movies I've been able to download, and I use iTunes. Well, to use an iPod, you have to use iTunes, and it's, you know, for the most part, a pretty good program, but there is a downside. If for, At least one. <laughs> yes. If for any reason something bad happens to iTunes, say for example, you or it accidentally erases all of your music or your hard drive crashes and you have to reinstall it, you would think that by plugging your iPod in, it would be able to copy from the iPod back into iTunes, but that's not the case. I actually thought one time I wanted to get all my friend's songs onto my computer, so I attached his iPod to my computer and wiped out his entire collection. So, yeah. That wasn't very popular. So that's what we're talking about. What a good friend you are. Yeah. Well, we've come across a program that's going to help us do that. Bring the songs from the iPod back into iTunes without wiping anything out. And it's called iPod Rip. And this is something you can download off of the web. They've got a free trial version as well. Yeah, the free trial version is a bit limited. It only lets you transfer 100 songs over, which most people probably have a few thousand songs. So it definitely is limited, but it shows you kind of how the program works. So we've brought it up here on the screen. Comes up to the welcome screen first. So it's pretty simple. You don't have to be a rocket scientist to know how to use this. If you just want an automatic recovery, everything on the iPod back into iTunes, you just hit that and continue and you're good to go. Uh, you can also change the destination. We do want it to go straight into iTunes, but we could change it into other folders. And I'm just going to do a manual import just to give you an idea of how this kind of works. So I hit the continue button. And what's going to happen now is it's uh, reading the iPod. You can see all of the songs are on here. Not just songs, but your videos, your movies, and your TV shows as well. And the thing I like about it is that um, it actually turns, whether it's an iPhone or an iPod, whatever it is that you're using, it almost turns it into a backup, like this device becomes your backup to your computer. Exactly. So uh, I've selected a few songs here, and again, I can have it done automatically so everything's done, but I'm just showing you the manual side here. I just uh, hit import, and what's going to happen now is it's automatically taking all of these songs, or whatever files, video, uh, TV, or movies, back into iTunes and I've saved everything. you saved everything, yeah. And you know what, if uh, the rights management and all that sort of stuff was in play, then uh, you could also have your friends' uh, stuff copied over. Like if I wanted to copy my friends, I would have done that without erasing it. Which we're not advocating. No, but no, if you had but the if you were so extra licenses. And so it's called what? iPod Rip. You can get a free trial version to try it out. Uh, if you do like it and uh, it's uh, gonna help save your music collection, the $20 is worth it. Can I erase your iPod now? Gotta get connected.